what is the parachute bag that you keep on banging on about? Well, the parachute bag is probably one of my favourite methods in fishing, mate. Because you hear every Tom, Dick and Harry going, Oh, I spotted, I, I marked out and it went down with a dink and I found a clear spot and I found a gravel bar and I found this and I found that. And I just sit there looking at him and thinking... I took parachute uh... out. <laughs> a bit more to that, Brad. So come on, give me a bit of credit, like. But I'm thinking everybody is so bewildered and mindset on finding this gravel spot, this bloody uh, clear spot. They're just fixated on it, mate. And do you know what the real reason is? There's no food on them gravel spots. All natural food is insultant weed. That's where you want to be fishing, isn't it? Yeah, we're at Carp Par. So this is a method that I absolutely love, and I've told hundreds of people about this. It's not a secret, it's been around ages. It's a forgotten method quite a lot, but I always tell people about it, and they're all, they always come round, whether I'm fishing or in shopping, they always say, do you know something, Gerard? That's brilliant, that. Honestly, I used it, and my catch rate's gone up. It's simple. So on one of previous in uh, one of previous videos, what we did is I showed you the German rig, which I use a lot of my fishing for. In my fishing, shall I say, ninety percent. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if I'm fishing over silt or weed or anything like that, obviously I do want to know what kind of silt it is, firstly, because obviously the silt that smells nice and is full of freshness and goodness to the carp, and then the silt, which smells like shh, stuff, which, stuff, stuff, which you don't want to be fishing in. Just a quick one, how, how would you know the difference? Well, usually the stuff that stinks, it's usually black. No, but how would you know what you're fishing across? What would you do first to find I'd, out? I'd either put um, a little rake out, a yeah. little gardener rake, yeah, or a, um, a marker lead, yeah. Usually with prongs on. So you, you've just turned up at a brand new lake, you've never been. Yeah. What's the first thing that you, you're going to be doing I'll to start, find out? I'd start off with uh, leading about. Leading about, yeah. Leading about. Yeah. And yeah. then what I'd do is, I'd, I'd put my lead in on my, on my marker rod. I usually use a 10 foot marker rod. Put my lead about, I never play about. And you can usually feel, if it's gravel, it goes tap, 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 tap. You can yeah. feel your tip, you know, knocking. If it's silt, it usually like glides, just yeah. glides like a glove. But then if you eat thicker silt, you usually get a little bit stucker. Then if you eat weed, then you're jammed up, basically. Yeah. Then you've lost your lead. Then lead usually comes off, yeah, so you've got to start again. But what I like to do is I like to find that little bit of silt, the nice silt. So like I said, you can either use one at Little Gardener Rakes, which is fantastic. You can use um, a... a, a a marker lead with little prongs on and things like that yeah. or if you don't want to use them you can basically cast a rig out mate with a, with a lead on it a bare rig with a nook on it and just bring that back yeah. and as soon as you hit it you can strike up get it straight to the top and bring it in you can see what you're fishing over mate so at that point then then you go to your rig armour and think right I'm going to use X, Y and Z yes yeah, yeah obviously yes that that's correct Brad yeah I'd, and then obviously if I'm not finding silt and it's different shall we say, contours at bottom and what's on bottom and things like that, then I've got to change my tactics. Yeah. But this method is, like I said, the German rig, and this is a little parachute bag. Now, the beauty about the parachute bag is that that's airtight, that, Brad. Yeah. So that will float to the top. So that will float to the top, yeah? Yeah. So when it floats to the top, this is enabling you... To let your lead go into the silt, yeah. but your rig is stopping up like that. Yes. So the presentation, when that melts, is that your hook bait is above everything. So when that melts, your pellets are falling on the silt, and then your hook bait just stops on t on top of the silt. It's not getting tucked into it, if you know what I mean. So to, to basically utilise that, you've got to hook... Yeah, all that you bags. need is some little PVA bags. Yeah. Some pellets... Two mil or four mil pellets. Yeah. Basically, you can put them in, twist it round, tight, airtight. Yeah. Get some PVA tape, 
screw it, cut it off, and then you'll end up with that. But the beauty about this is, like I've said, is all that you need to do is just hook that underneath the knot. Yes, yeah, so, so it won't come off. So it won't come off like that, yeah? We just get in here, Joe. Yeah. So we're going to have to improvise, shall we say, because we haven't got any silt or a lake. But <laughs> pretend that's a bucket with silt on it, mate, yeah? Yeah. And this is the lead. My finger and thumb here is the lead. So I've cast in bloodush. That lead has gone into the silt. So that always hits the bottom. That first. always hits the bottom. Now, the beauty about that is, you look at that now. Just going to try and get it right. Let me just get that. So that is basically sitting like that now. Yeah. Above all the silt, yeah? Yeah. Now you watch when that PVA bag melts, disperses. You'll see what's happening. So your up bait is completely free of anything on the bottom at the minute. Yeah. Because your, in, your up's inside that bag at the minute, so it's still it? inside the bag now. You yeah. watch this now. It's just getting ready to go. The pellets are just falling out, as you can see. Can you see them? Yeah. Just dispersing now. There it goes. And your hook bait now is sat on top of all the silt. It hasn't been, dra been dragged in with any lead weight or anything. So now you've got perfect presentation over any silt situations by using the parachute bag.